let me show you how I'm gonna do the seat setup here. So I made these uh, aluminum plates here. This is basically gonna be my seat pan. Of course, make it a little more comfortable, we'll add some foam. The fender, more or less on top like that. And um, then to support it, I'm gonna have uh, some angles right here to go from this hole to the back of the, uh, the subframe there. So that's pretty much it. That's gonna be the subframe. I will have to build out on top of the rear part of the subframe uh, to hold this where the seat's gonna go. But then I'll have the seating done and then it's just on to the wiring. I've got the uh, foam glued on and I've got the triple density foam here. Soft, a little firmer, and then right on the bottom is the even firmer stuff. So here's the seat pan. I have this leftover vinyl. It's actually from a, uh, a bra from a car. Remember when they used to put bras on cars? Uh, so it's uh, some pretty heavy duty vinyl. I'm gonna use that to cover my seat with. I need to make some of my own crimps uh, for the ends of the cables here that connect onto the battery. And I need basically a solid piece of copper to drill two small holes where it's going to uh, go onto the battery terminal right here. So as you can see, this guy will kind of drill some holes in there and it'll bolt on there, so get an electrical connection. Of course, we'll clean up the copper before. This is just a test piece. I did also buy this tool, which is uh, used for mashing, uh, crimping on these. And I'm gonna see if I can actually use it to crimp on uh, to the end of the cable here. Check it out. This looks really nice, actually. So just a piece of copper pipe that I've crimped on to the end of this cable. I mean, look at that. That is a nice, tight crimp. That's a pretty deep, you see how deep that is in there? So uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with this tool. I think it was like $12, 12 bucks, something like that on Amazon. And it's a nice, nice tool. You just take a nice heavy hammer, slam a couple times onto this cable end. And uh, that is crimped on there nice. So I think this is gonna be the ticket here for uh, getting the, the, the ends on the cable. I'm gonna test this out in the vise. I'm gonna clamp this, grab the cable and just yank around on it, see if I can get it to come out. But I think that's in there solid now. Been making a bunch of progress. The uh, last video clip was talking about the subframe and the seat. <clears throat> so I got the seat, well, done. <laughs> it doesn't look pretty, but I'm not the best upholsterer. Anyway, so I got the seat, uh, it's all mounted and covered. I've got the rear subframe is uh, mounted and uh, done at this point for now. Um, I, I added a sort of like a large gusset here to uh, strengthen this back part because you know the weight of the rear rider is going to be sitting here which pushes down which is kind of beyond this attach point here um, didn't want to rely on just this square tubing here um, and this is a piece of an aluminum that's been bent actually there's like a couple pieces and then riveted a cross plate top there and then the seat is on top there so we've got it all all the wiring's done tail light turn signals wiring all goes up through here up to this big spaghetti mess up there. And um, now what I'm working on is uh, the front headlight and turn signal mount. If you saw in earlier videos, I had this kind of really flimsy piece right here. Headlight was there. And what I'm doing is making a nice version out of a uh, nice stronger aluminum. So we've got this piece that's gonna go up underneath here. It's gonna be a hole drill there for the headlight. And then this far right here, it's going to hold the turn signals. So I'm gonna weld some tabs on the end of those. And uh, that's where the turn signals are going to mount. It's gonna look a lot nicer than the uh, what I had there before. But that was just temporary. Now where I'm at with the controller is I have everything wired up. I've, I've got it uh, so I can power it on. But unfortunately, um, I don't quite have one of these uh, wires right. This is the main communication port right here on the controller. It's a 35 pin AMP plug. And um, basically it just talks to the throttle and the motor. There's the motor wires down there and um, a couple other small things, but it's got some safety cutouts on it, like for the kickstand. And um, you know, the Subcon controller is made for a lot of different applications, even like forklifts and stuff. So they have safety switches for like a dead man switch. So the guy's supposed to step on the plate so that he's on the vehicle before it starts driving. And I'm, I'm basically needing to bypass some of those. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking to some people trying to figure that out. But once that gets going, uh, this thing should be uh, ready to go and spin up my sprocket there. So it's coming along. After I get the headlight mounted, I'm going to uh, probably make some brackets for a windscreen up there. Well, 
I had hoped at this point that I would be doing a video on riding the motorcycle. You know, those cool vlogs where people, you can see the side of their helmet and they're talking, driving around, watching out for traffic. Yeah, those. Anyway, um, well, it's basically all together. Uh, the problem is the controller was having some issues. And so I tried to get some help with that. Uh, found a place a couple hours away from where I lived and I drove up there, spent pretty much my whole day uh, trying to figure it out, letting them figure it out. Still couldn't get it to go. Uh, luckily right now I've been able to send the controller to somebody else who uh, should be able to fix it. So that's off in the mail now. And uh, I'm hoping to get that back in maybe a week or so. And then I can ride it. So just doing like a brief overview of the motorcycle here. As you can kind of see it's, uh, you know, pretty much, pretty much done. Uh, there's my seat. That's the passenger seat. I've got a pretty tall backrest that's not on the bike right now. And uh, so I've got my hand deflectors here. This is uh, primarily for wind and also if that bike ever goes down, you know, these will protect the, uh, these actually have the metal in them. They're the hand guards with the metal in them. The uh, a chair bees, um, motorcycle hand guards. So if the bike ever goes down, it'll protect the, uh, the brake levers from getting damaged. Um, here's a piece that I had to fabricate. I kind of, I think I showed that one in the last videos, putting this together, so it turned out all right. Um, got the uh, turn signals mounted on there, and uh, she's pretty much just all ready to go. Hopefully in another couple of weeks, I will be showing you this thing on the road and telling you how she performs. That will be really exciting. So thanks for sticking with me, and we'll have another update pretty soon.